This video is sponsored by Aniba.com, a fairly new online marketplace where you can get game keys and gift cards for PC, Xbox, PSN, Nintendo and much more. Check out the fantastic weekly deals with up to 70% off. Use the code ICARI during the registration to get another 3% off of every purchase and have a fun time gaming. Ok, the C virus is upon us and we need to start preparing. In this episode I will show you exactly what you need to do to survive the upcoming apocalypse. Let's do this! Let's start our preparations with the most important stuff. Toilet paper by Oinlen and death by Kitty. This stuff is really more worth than anything right now. Forget bottle caps, I think this will be the new world currency. Actually this is a totally half-assed mod which just adds those two models. They don't have physics or anything and you can only spawn them in through the console. But believe it or not, this is actually the 4K version. But what else do we need to hoard like crazy? Ammo display and armory by NAR. This mod adds a really cool underground armory with many shelves where you can keep your ammo. This place can be accessed through a door you can build under structures, misc and secret armory, so you can easily add it to any settlement. You can interact with those buttons here to automatically remove all the ammo from your inventory and display it in those shelves. Of course the whole cave functions as a workshop and is fully customizable. Next, we obviously need lots of weapons to be able to actually use all the ammo. Here are the newest trends, starting with a gun called Honey Badger.
And the final mod is some Widowmaker stuff from Overwatch. It's also a whole set, so with this we once again manage to make a smooth transition into the armor mod section. Yay us, I guess. Then we have this courier outfit by Darkman. Yeah, so badass! Who needs armor when you look that badass, right? There is also something really weird with the last armor, the Lynx outfit. It's always invisible when you try to equip it, but somehow it actually appeared as I reloaded the game. And also this happened as I dropped it from the inventory. Fix should be on its way. And now it's time for the grand closing, because we got another great DLC sized quest mod. Four Will by Seedon4494. Four Will is the name of a new town on the northeast coast. Packed with many quests, fully voiced NPCs with over 5000 dialogue lines, new items and everything else for a grand experience. Alright, that's close enough. Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? I'm just exploring, looking for salvage. I know it might look like it, but this isn't some junk town you can strip for parts. We got rules around here. There are places where you can do some trading. We don't tolerate any trouble. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? I think you got the wrong idea about this place, bub. We're not vault dwellers. Vault 4 has never opened. Anyway. I'm not really supposed to turn people away unless it's obvious they're trouble. Man, you seem alright to me. Yeah, but once we enter the actual city, it very quickly begins to look kinda small. Almost like there is just a bunch of people sitting in front of the vault door. Fortunately, the mayor turns out to be a nice guy, despite having some serious ego problems from what I see, and fills us in on the situation. Hi. Why, hello there. Roscoe radioed and mentioned we had a visitor coming down. I hope he didn't give you too much trouble. He loves to try and vet visitors. He told me you mentioned something about being a vault dweller. I'd be quite interested in hearing more about it. I'm from Vault 111. Vault 111? I've never heard of that one. We got a few people coming here from 81, but... No one's ever claimed to be from 111. Now, I'm sure you've noticed our town's main attraction, Vault 4. I always make sure to let the new visitors know the door can't be opened. And this is what this all is obviously about. The whole town came into existence because more and more people just decided to stay there and wait for the door to open. And something tells me that this is exactly what we are supposed to do. But before the main action starts, we can look around town and talk to all kinds of interesting residents. Hmm, a new patient. I should be able to accommodate you, but you're going to have to pay, since you don't pay taxes here. Was wondering if there was anything you needed help with. No, no, I'm just fine, thank you. Do you need my help? Would you look at that, this town even has its own folks. No further introduction needed, it's already clear as day that this is indeed a really great quest mod. 
and this is it for this episode. The links to all mods are as always in the description below. Don't forget to endorse on the mods you like, and if you like philosophical super mutants, hit the like button and subscribe for more. Best, new, Fallout 4 mods. I thank you all for watching and see you around.